Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer 2. We're playing as the Lizardmen, we're playing as Croc Garm. This is episode 5. In today's episode, we're going to be finishing off the Warriors of Chaos, hopefully, or the Vessel of Chaos, the ones that spawned when we started our ritual in um, Jurassic Pass. Hopefully, we can get rid of them. So, Jurassic Pass, uh, what is it? Queen Elizabeth, and then we've got Eddie Lizard performing our ritual. It's currently turn 41. We're eight turns away, and... Okay, so we are head of the Dark Elves, also trying to control the Vortex. Yeah, over there. There's no way we really can stop them, but, um, yeah, all the way over here in Lustria. Anyway, guys, if you still are enjoying this Total War Warhammer 2 series and would like to see more Warhammer 2 content on the channel, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know in the comment section down below suggestions for settlements and whatnot. So, these are my settlements so far. Idris Elbow, Eddie Lizard, uh, Lizard of Oz, Jurassic Pass. Jurassic Park, there's a pass here. <laughs> Oh, uh, we've got Queen Elizabeth, Lizardardo, Lizanar, I can fucking never say it, Liz and Ardo, Da Vinci, Mitch Jagger, uh, Mick Jagger, uh, Justin Timbersnake, we've got Reptar and Spyro, we're sort of running out of celebrity sort of reptile dinosaur lizard names, we've got Krokka here with 20 units waiting to replenishment, waiting to replenish, uh, we've got a melee specialist here and a wizard, just got some spearmen here. Mace guys, we're just sort of waiting to replenish. Four units of skirmishes, four units of our cold ones. We've still got our um, sort of monsters here. We've got Mushu here, and then we have Tarkosaurus up with 14 units in Jurassic Pass. So once we finish off this Chaos Force here today, there's a couple of things we could potentially do. We could go to war with the, the High Elves down here. There's a lot of treasures along the coast I'd like to get as well. But uh, at the moment, we knocked out in the last episode Clan Maul. We, we, we managed to get rid of Squeak as well. So maybe continuing to try and get the entirety of this island. We've got some dwarfs to the north that we could deal with potentially. Maybe even the green skins. I think probably going against this other Lizardman faction, which has grown quite large, would be probably our best bet. But we need to wait up with replenishments at Spyro. Once we've done with that, we'll probably push up and help out instead of going like all the way back around. Uh, how are we going plaques wise? So we're actually well ahead. 531 and we're making 30 per turn. Can we get plaques down here? No, I was just curious to see where we can get additional plaques and stuff. We do have a, a, a bit of trade going on um, around the Empire, but nothing really too much. Okay, I would like to take Scrag Hole at some point and then push up. So we'll wait for replenishments there. We've got Obviously, 14 units and then the garrison Jurassic Pass. So, Mushu can move. No, we'll just leave Mushu where he is. Because we're going to have to take the fucking um, the settlement behind us before we even push against that other Slan clan. Which I probably think I will do. Because I want to try and extend my borders as best we can. But we're doing really well in this campaign and I'm still having an absolute blast. So, the Vessels of Chaos here. Oh, they're actually attacking Jurassic Pass. Okay. So... Level 7, Viggo Sins Sinslayer. He's got two units of Chaos Warriors Halberds, four units of Chaos Warriors, Chaos Marauders to there. Then they've got some Warhounds and a Hell Cannon. We're only just favoured to win. We got Tarkosaurus, so Chaos is invading Jurassic Park. <laughs> Jurassic Park's pass. <laughs> okay, so we've got four units of Spearmen. That can deal with those Hounds potentially. They've got the hell. They've got the hell cannon. Though. That's the problem. They've got Saurus warriors. We got five of them. We've got three skin cohorts. Two of the royal uh, sort of skirmishes. Royal Yoshi scaling warriors are fighting. Uh, so we've got Tarkosaurus. Then we've got a skink priest here. Oh wow! We've actually got a Bastilodon solar engine. And then we've got some skirmishes. Let's have a quick look at the terrain and see what we're sort of working with. Right. Okay. So. Uh, the terrain is to our advantage, however, they might not push because they do have artillery superiority on us. So we might have to break these lines and sort of push out for them anyway. Looks like we probably can get a decent flanking maneuver. So we'll have this battle here today, our first battle against Chaos. 
the Battle of Jurassic Pass. That's exactly what it's called as well. That's absolutely fantastic. That's hilarious. So Tarkosaurus is leading the line. We haven't got any cold ones as Cav. We haven't even got our um, Croxigors or other Bastilodons and stuff. All right, let's get stuck into it. So how are we doing? 18. So let's have a look at this pass. Oh, okay. So it looks... Right. There's a bridge here. Can you actually go across this bridge? I don't know. I've never played this map. But if you can, that looks absolutely beautiful, this bridge. If you can go across it. Okay. Like one unit at a time. We're going to have to get to this front line here and here as quickly as possible. Because the thing is, right, we're probably going to have to just charge straight up now anyway. Okay, so let's chuck you guys here. How far can we pull them up? Oh, they're actually sort of here, so... But as soon as, like, artillery fire happens, we might just really have to go for it, you know? Maybe chuck two units of skinks just here. Uh, how close can we pop them there without being seen? Because I don't know if you can actually use this bridge. It'd be awesome if you could. And then we'll, sw we'll swing the anti-large guys and stuff around this side. Okay. Alright. Skirmishers, we'll pop you just here. Ideally three. To be fair, we've got our own Bastilodon that has, like, lasers on the back. So who have we got in reserves here? We have some Carnosaurs. A decent amount of them. I might chuck those two over here then. Alright, so I finished the deployment here. We've got two sort of sides here. Uh, so we've got three units of Saurus Warriors on the left, along with two units of the Saurus Warriors. The spear version, obviously, variant. We've got some Skink Cohort, and then we've obviously got this huge chunk here. We've got 18% Winds of Magic. I'm probably not going to gamble that, but let's have a look at these units. Have a quick look. You're most welcome to pause and have a look, but I can't wait to use this solar-powered Carnosaur. The range is on it isn't actually this big, but this will be Tarko's Maybe first, can't remember. Potentially one first battles. Look how awesome this is. It looks like one of those sort of ankylosauruses with like a really cool helm. He's even got like skinks on the side of him. So here's Tarkosaurus with the Aztec vibe going on. Not as sort of shiny and chrome, not as sort of gold as Crocgar. But they're going to give us a hell of a fight. I want to see if this that bridge actually works. So here's their hell cannon. That is going to rip through us if we sort of don't go for it. So Chaos are trying to take Jurassic Pass. Here is this Chaos Lord. The first of many more to come. I'm I'm sure. And then there, there, there's their feral hounds. I'm just sort of curious to see... If we can push up to here, we probably might do all right away from that hell cannon because we can still hold that part of the pass, you know. Well, let's just hold. Now, if I was to command you to go there, it does look like there's a pathway through the bridge. So it does look like you can actually do it. I'm not going to because I want to keep those guys in reserve. What I'll do is I want to try and bait the enemy out. However, I don't want to be in the line of artillery fire. So I'm going to get my blokes to move up. Because I'd be blown away if the enemy hasn't already tried to to target my guys here. That's the thing. Okay. So in this pack here, we have... Okay, so it's, only, it's just basically that skink unit, which we can pop there. And then the skink skirmishers. Pop them there. Alright, cool. Move those guys further up. We'll keep these guys on the right, fine. Let's just sort of see how the AI sort of goes. So it looks like they're actually pushing down against us. They're taking their time, though. That's the problem. Like I said, my Bastilodon hasn't got that much range. So it might be sort of imperative to get him up a bit more. See, I told you they'll be firing at our stuff, but it's actually gone down. That's just devastating. If we can draw them in, we might be able to send those skinks across the bridge to go actually deal with it. We want to try and... Uh, you know what? We'll try and get these guys here. No, 
not. Uh, no, let's just hold them. You know what? Let's just hold them and wait for everyone to get to st get stuck stuck in there. They're gonna actually hit us here. Only just. Uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to tweak the front line a bit. It's because this map is it's not helping us, is it? It's not giving us good pathfinding. Deployment layout. Because there's still going to be like a hole here, you know. Which is what I'm worried about. But it looks like they're actually coming down now. Oh. We've been quite fortunate. So far. Alright, let's go with a counter charge. Once they're nearby. Oh god, this is going to be a close one. Um... Okay, how am I best to do that? Probably hit this bloke, and then try and swing like this. I think. And then pop the skinks like there. Alright, let the Bastille it on. Wreak havoc. We got no bonus, we got no wizard stuff here either. Alright, let's let these skinks go over the bridge. Or not, maybe they're not gonna go over the bridge. I sw no, so it looks like the bridge is purely aesthetics, even though it look looked like it was going over. Oh uh, well, that's fine. Try and get them over. For now, we need to swing these guys around like this. Because we're going to have a huge flank, if that works out. Regardless, for now, we've got some skirmishes. We'll move up Taco as best as we can. We probably want to fire upon their enemy Lord, actually. Try and focus upon him as best we can. Okay, so skinks here in the center. What do I sort of want you blokes to focus on? Yeah, probably the marauders with the great weapons, if I'm being honest. But anyway, let's now have the engagement against Chaos. Focusing on their lord now. Oh, there's actually better quality ones down here. We need to focus on these guys more. Uh, hit that further down here. Right, you're sitting way too far back. And these guys... Except for you should be there. Right. We... I don't know how well we're doing. There's a gap. There's a huge gap here, though. Hit that. This is going to be absolutely deadly. Get that shot off. I right, continue to aim for the enemy lord. We'll chuck in Taco to go deal with him. We'll let these skinks to go plug the gaps. Yeah, if we can hit their lord. Like, how much is this going to affect us hitting it so close? That's the thing. Anyway, how's this flanking maneuver going? Oh, we've, we've won that, yeah. Sweet, right. Let's get, hit him from the sides. Okay. Uh, actually, we've got a lot of skinks here, haven't we? Okay, get the skinks to draw their swords. Actually, you know what? Stop that. Only get one of the skinks to draw their swords. Go after that hell cannon. They're probably actually better off hitting them from the sides and stuff. But let's get some flanking maneuvers going on. So everyone apart from those skinks... So that's the three and there's two Karnas, so start going like that. We just need to get around them. Okay, we're holding. Their Chaos Law is quite low. Uh, I'm going to try and... Yeah, we need to continue to hit that still. They're going berserk. There's a huge volley coming in here. No, poor Lizardman. <laughs> right. Skirmishes. I don't know what to hit, that's the thing. Anyway, we're, we're, we're smacking them from behind now. I might just get my Carnosaur to go into melee and just charge through, you know? Charge through and start hitting them down through here. Just get him to get stuck in. Like get past the halberds because they're anti-large. 
get my skink skirmishes to still sort of hit like the halberds because that's the real thing that's going to hurt us. Okay, how is sort of everyone else flanky? Yeah, we've buckled this left flank. And it uh, looks like the K, yeah, we've caused a trickle. And now here comes the flood. Go up there, you still need to deal with them. But we've got them on the ropes here now. It's just their heavy warriors that are really holding out and strong. But it looks like it's going to be a decisive Lizardman victory. That flanking maneuver was just insane. We're going to be able to run down these guys a hell of a lot better than those other ratmen. Oh, here comes their Chaos Lord once again. If we can go get him killed. That's what we sort of want. Oh no, it's just dropped down my Lizard Wizard. Rhyming like a wizard. Right, they're coming back in. Let's try and speed things up now. The hell cannon's still in here. Let's get rid of these chaos chaos dwarves. It's just them in, standing in there, isn't there? Is their lord come back in? The enemy lord's dead. Excellent. Good stuff, guys. How many do we lose? Only 400. You're kidding me. That's those... Yeah, the skinks. Yeah, get them out. Just get the skinks out now and get them to throw some volleys against them. Just sit back. Relax. Oh, God, I love the sort of organic matter on these Hellstorm cannons. It's just absolutely disgusting. Come on, litter them with spears. Oh, nice. Filthy chaos. Dwarves. We haven't got reinforcements coming in now. Good on you, skinky boys. And now that's a Lizardman victory. And how far away are we running down, guys? Yet yeah, they're too far ahead. Decisive victory. Excellent. We lost 385. 52. They deployed to this. We did outnumber them by quite a bit. So how did everyone sort of go here? It's basically just our Saurus Warriors. Did the best. Bastilodon did 41. I'll take that. Oh, we got a weapon. Stegodon War Spear. Charge, melee attack, and melee attack. Oh, okay. Right, we're going to exterminate to get those bonuses. So we might not even need to swing around that other army, you know. Because that was... Oh, there's actually a lot more other chaos stuff. Right. Okay, one shot. Your slan mage priest research reveal whereabouts. Oh, okay. Mountain expedition, right. So, researchers reveal the whereabouts of a distant but ac accessible plaque recording, a ritual, unusable once, which will powerfully defend your great Saurus Guard veteran against agents of the enemy. Is it worth sending an expedition to retrieve one? So we get Mount the Expedition. Minus 20% hero, all success. So we get bonuses through hero actions. Um, it's going to cost 2,000. Nah, um, I don't think it's worth 2,000. It's good, but like, it's not like amazing. Now, where was this sword? I'm just sort of thinking, am I better or not to give it to Krokgar? So that's where Taco, my friend. Let me have a look at your sword real quick, buddy. So it's actually, yeah, so 30 charge, 5 melee we get. So what does Krokgar actually have for his weapon? Oh, he actually doesn't have a weapon. So let's give it to Krokgar then. Hopefully that other character doesn't get too pissed off, Tarko. We'll let Tarko run down the remaining Chaos Warriors. They're in a forced march. Um, oh no, this is someone else. This is Lord Red. Is it? Oh, okay, let's sort of resolve that. Then... I think what happened is that the Chaos forces were just like, yeah, we destroyed the vessels of Chaos. They were so low because, like, I think they got attrition coming up through Jurassic Park. Jurassic Pass. <laughs> I love that name way too much. Uh, we've got some skills here for you. Leadership and Aurora. Let's go with predatory stuff as well. Good on you, Taco. You're doing the Lizardman incredibly proud. Yeah. Maybe we should, um... 
Because at, at the moment, we're not at war with anyone, no. Maybe we're better off going to war with... Was Latlan. Okay, it's time to go to war with the Lizardman faction next door. Zlatan, I like to call them. Zatlan. We're currently ranked first in strength, matter of fact. Followed by... Okay, so I need to, not even, well, we can't see the other elves. We only can see who's sort of around us. Anyway, so what do they have? Their leader is a slan. Okay, they've got six territories. The thing is, what I'm thinking is, we're not, we haven't even got trade rights with them, so it's not even going to affect us. I'm going to hit Scraghole right next to Justin Timbersnake and Reptar. We've got 20 units here with Krokgar. We'll hit Scraghole. We've currently got, what? Six units here with Mushu and Spyro defending. We've got a pretty decent garrison in Spyro if they do hit us, but we should be able to hit Zlatlan. There was a there was an event before which gave them attrition if they went for that capital, wasn't it? There was ca there was heaps of corruption around it. How big's that? That's actually quite a big territory. We've also got um, Tarkosaurus here with 17 units defending the pass. Ritual wise, we're five turns away. We're still a fair bit in front now. Uh, we've also got Clan Pestilence. Ah, oh, seven turns away. Nagarond and Lotharan. So, there's a lot of stuff trying to affect the Vortex. So we've got the High Elves here. We've got Clan Pestilence. Um, we could go over to this island, this other island, at some point. There's that quest battle. Eventually, there's a couple here. Events-wise, yeah, no, we don't want to do that other stuff just yet, those quest battles. Does give you a decent amount of plaques, but not yet as yet. We need to build a mine somewhere, wasn't there? And that was one of the events. I think it's already gone. Um, there's heaps of treasure sites around here, which I would I ideally like to try and go out and pick up. But maybe I should... Uh, actually, you know what? I think once we've done with that, we'll let, we'll let Mushu go around and start exploring. I feel like Mushu's the type of guy that would love to do that. <laughs> Let's just do a quick save before we um, hit Scrag Hole. We'll declare war upon them now. We're not at war with anyone, actually. Seenings, we're ranked one, and we significantly outnumber them. Yeah, look at this. Scrag Hole's got really nothing in it. A decisive victory, only 18 Lizardmen lost. Let's occupy Scrag Hole. And now we have the entirety of the Southern Jungle. So, what's actually in Scrag Hole? Just a Skink Favela. Yeah, we'll break that down, we'll build that into something else. Probably can get something quite good from that. Right, okay, so now that we've taken that, we can actually go with alignment aura. Weapon strength for local armies, minus recruitment cost. I'm just trying to think as oh public order's probably not a bad too I bad idea. Get probably get that done. I'm pretty sure we've got public orders for the other ones, haven't we? No, we don't. Income from all buildings. Maybe we're better off going through that then. Public order and money. Well, what did I have them on? Oh, I had them reducing plague. That's not... Okay, that's what I was doing, yeah. Now, let's go with growth and public order. I had them on anti-plague stuff because these were previously, if you guys can remember, fuck tons of Skaven territory. How's the geomantic web sort of looking, though? That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Okay, so let's try and increase that. Okay, Krokgar, you can come out of here now. Um, get that tiny amount of replenishment. I'll be curious to see if they hit me there. We'll hold up. We'll push for Zatlan next, and we'll see how we go. So Krokgar's gone further up. He's ranked 14. One more turn, we're going to be able to get his Carnosaurus, which is going to be absolutely imperative. Right, Skaven, Beastmen, Dark Elves, Greenskins, Kill the Dwarves. Chaos, I already got that. Um, Oh, yeah, I forgot, about, I forgot I had that bonus. So I had a 10%. Oh, it was only for Krokgar, wasn't it? Yeah, melee, fighting against undead. Maybe getting some just resistance here is probably not a bad idea. Or maybe just going with more armor. Go with more. Oh, that's weapon strength. Looks like hit points that does. Okay, during the in turn phase, Karak Zorn, the dwarves in the northern part, have ended their non aggression pact with me. Don't know why. They actually got some problems here. The vampires are there. Oh shit, there's actually a pretty decent vampire one there. Holdfast is attacked and they won. Maybe they've been, I don't know, subjugated or something. Right, blood sacrifice. So we get minus relations with the vampires. We get winds of magic. No, I don't want to piss off the vampires just yet. I've just declared war upon someone. 
There's a pretty decent vampire army there, 12, and they're still pushing down. They're quite close to me, that's the thing. Yeah, I don't know why they have why they would have ended their non-aggression pack with me. I wonder if there's anyone else I can get non-aggression packs with, to be honest, or trade. Okay, guys, we're three turns away from the ritual coming through. How far is everyone else? Pestilence, five. Dark Elves, four. High Elves, seven. We're going to keep um, Tarko just in Jurassic Pass until the ritual finishes. Um, I've got Krokka here ready to continue to push against Zat Zlat Lan. And then I'll probably get that other army to push through here. Continue to finish off the Lizardman here. Okay, right. So we've got Mushu. I'm going to let him go around and actually pick up some of this treasure. So let's have a treasure chest now. So what's this? A skull reef. Okay. I was thinking about maybe disbanding the army and maybe letting him be... Uh... Oh, what? Okay, being like the sea pirate. Okay. The skull-shaped lair lying ominously... On the horizon could be... Okay, treasure hunter. <laughs> it's a point rich life for me. Right, horizon. Right, could only be hidden. Da, 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 da. Legendary vampire admiral. Who was the bloody reaver. Okay. Legend has it that the treasure is hidden upon the great sea. Guarded by zombie crewmen. Damned to protect it for all eternity. That is until the fleet chances. So we've got a cursed charm. Which is a passive ability, plus 50% miscast around stuff. Maybe I can give that to my lizard wizard. But we've got 10k, which is like the main thing I was banging on about there. Okay, well let's head you down then. Let's continue to go around the reefs. Oh wow. I love this sort of Aztec barge that we've got going. Alright, cool. Okay, we're probably one turn out from hitting their capital. What's the garrison there? Well, that's quite significant. They have a Stegodon. What I'm going to do... I forgot to give Raptor Jesus his enchanted item. Where is it? It was the miscast one we just recently got. Yeah. He has a Pterodon now. So that should be going for him all right. Okay, so we're two turns away from the ritual. Um, currently saving up now. Restructuring my building so I can actually get some beasts. Pterodactyl things. Tyrannosauruses. <laughs> Pterodons and Stegodons and stuff. Anyway, Mushu's got another fell cargo here. Let's sort of see what's going on with him. Okay. While your crew searches a wreck, the decks heave and water bursts through the rotting hull. No, what is left of the ship begins to sink, taking its cargo with it. Your crew only has time to salvage a few crates before the ocean claims it. But what should they save? Okay. So we get a, a banner, a, cast, a castle forged steel. Okay. Um, the captain's chest. Your army will perform better in the campaign. Your army will perform better in battle. We're about to have a battle soon, so let's go with that. So, heavy iron. That gives us armor piercing plus eight. Armor, wow. We still managed to get 15,000, though. That's going to help our buildings quite a lot. Mushu is like the pirate champion here. Um, we've got a couple more stuff up the coast that we can probably can nab, but I'm probably going to need him back over here. I probably need him, I'm probably going to need him to like garrison Zlat, Zlatlan and stuff. Um, so I think it's, it's kind of counterintuitive to go that way. It's not We're not really going that way. So what I'll do is I'll swing you this way. And I want to try and get you here. So maybe try and do a naval. Try and get their navally to Zlatlan. Okay, we've got some construction stuff we need to go through. I've got to ha I had to restructure the Kingdom of the Beasts because obviously for the end tier buildings only stuff can be built in the capital which kind of sucks so I can't wait for that mod to sort of remove that sort of stuff because you have to sort of yeah you have to sort of manage the buildings right so we've got a a pterodon hatchery coming along I had to move the cold ones I've got a beast lair coming along I also want to get a shrine of the old ones so I can finally get those skink priests to reduce chaos corruption there's no harm planning for that sort of stuff just yet we're one turn away from finishing off our ritual we're actually about to hit that capital there as well so let's push in so how much do we actually lose out of curiosity none okay I thought that was I thought it was gonna be mad penalties Right, so they've got two units of Saurus Warriors, three units of that, one Feral Stegodon, Croxagors here. We'll continue. We'll go out, and then we've got... 
Where are you? Yeah, we've got this. We've got Mushu here as well, so he can come in as reinforcements, in theory. Because I want him to come here. So they've still only got a couple more territories yet left. This might just be an order resolve. He wouldn't have got there if it wasn't for that force march. So we're here now. What does that make it now? No, he actually doesn't come in. Okay. So we've still got a leadership plus five. Um, maybe give that to Krokgar then. We'll get leadership plus five as well. Yeah, let's just give it to my agents, because essentially, how I sort of spread it out, it, I actually make them like commanders on the battlefield now anyway. I'll, I don't know what's going to happen when we finish off this ritual. I want to try and end the turn and get stuck into it. Um, yeah, I think we should just auto-resolve this one. We've got this one in the bag. We're going to be fighting their armies as well, so let's just auto-resolve this one. Decisive victory, didn't lose anyone as well. 194 to their 74. We've got a decent amount of money as well. Let's Occupado. And now we've taken their capital. Is Krokgar level 15 now? Because I want to try and get that um, Carnosaur. He's nearly there. So what's actually here? A plus 3 Pterodon Hatchery. And what was this? Sotek. Priest. Havens. That's the other one. That's Because uh, I was talking about getting this other building here. Yeah. Altar of Sotek. Oh, cool. So we've got that there now. We don't even have to worry about the other one. Um, what else is here? We've got an ancient harbour, pterodon hatchery. You know what? What I'm going to do... I'll get rid of that one unit of skinks. We can definitely get rid of them. And let's get some pterodon riders in here then. I was just sort of thinking maybe I should get rid of the missile, missile guys, but this, they're really, really good ranked. Maybe we're just better off to get Mulan here. I want to try and go there as well. Mushu, not Milan. <laughs> uh, what I could do, actually, move move Mushu here. We'll stop that. Ah, oh, bugger it. I was trying to figure out a way that I could move a unit into Mushu's army and get another one of those Pterodon riders. Right, okay, we'll get that treasure next, and we'll continue to push through the Lizardman lands as well. Once this ritual's done, we should be right. Oh, Tarko's gone up. Right, let's end it then. Okay, so let's see how this ritual goes down. I don't know, I haven't got this far in the campaign. This is a blind let's play, if you guys can remember. I don't think we're doing alright so far. I've got the general gist of it. Vampire's still pushing south. The secrets upon the last plaques were spoken, and the skies above Lustria cracked with power. Far below the heavens, under a forgotten temple, the ritual of prognostication roused an ancient relic priest. Who stirs my eternal vigilance, rumbled the relic priest. The fuck is this guy? As it revealed a dread prophecy. If the vortex of the Asa fails, demons unfettered will consume the world. Only the Great Warding can bolster the vortex, but the comet's wake has left it fractured. As the relic priest's eyes began to fade, it made mention of a lost key, the location of which would be revealed by four further rituals. Rituals would realign the Great Warding, and the key, when found, shall unlock the power to permanently restore the Vortex. The task was clear. Find the sacred plaques, and cast the rituals. Okay, cool. So we've completed that ritual now then. So basically we're looking for a key, and we're going to try and just sort of ensure the Vortex's survival, try and be a constant in the world. Obviously, the Skaven wanted to summon the Horned Rat. Dark Elves want revenge, revenge like Malekith wants to become the Emperor Elf or whatever. And we're just trying to be constant and consistent and be kind of passive, I guess. Right, so, embody, employ the ritual. So, increase, however, 
Right, okay, so Undeadly Price. The Mystical Slam Priests have decided a new ritual increase speed and agility of your Master's Saurus Warriors. So this has nothing to do with that other stuff. So that gives a Saurus Warriors ability for six turns, but we get Vampiric Corruption in all provinces. No fucking way, if I do say so myself. But after that, we're blasting ahead now. We need 10,000, uh, uh, 10, so we should be able to get in front. Um, and they're still a bit behind. Well, we're actually not too far. 2-3 for Pestilence. Alright, so we've taken Zlatland. I think on that note, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to continue to push against the Lizardmen. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this series as much as I am. I'm having an absolute blast. I can definitely see myself doing more of these sort of campaigns. I think the Skaven one would be absolutely fascinating because they're all trying to... It's like the storyline's really cool. I can't wait probably to do like a, a story run for each faction. So, wow, look at the Vortex now. It's really copping a big one. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a dislike if you're more inclined to go that way. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me after this video. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel and join the notification squad you have to obviously subscribe and click the bell i do enjoy reading those comments if you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe total war warhammer 2 maybe total war maybe just a strategy game a ca game i don't know a paradox game you haven't picked up just yet check out my g2a affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games i highly recommend just going on g2a and just checking around at the prices you know just comparing it to other sites because you can really pick up a bar Bargain. Okay, Patreon Stinger there as well. Come and join the community on Steam. My name is Bean Simpsy. Take care. Goodbye. Really close cinematic shots here. Pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.